How's it going guys, Oliver here from WinBeta and in this video I'm going to discuss Cortana's feedback function. In addition to the perennially reliable Windows feedback app, Cortana on Windows 10 Mobile as well as Windows 10 features a separate feedback mechanism that works differently from the feedback app. There are two ways that I've found to activate Cortana's feedback. First, open Cortana, navigate to the hamburger menu, then press on the feedback menu item. The second method is more situational. When typing a search query into Cortana, a little chat bubble will pop up on the bottom right corner of the screen content. Despite being visible when typing, that button will only work when the keyboard is off screen. I guess making the button work whilst typing is another one of those very hard computer science problems Microsoft faces every day. While crude, the placement and timing of this button makes sense. When typing a query, a list of predictive search results obscures the otherwise universally accessible hamburger button, which you need to access the feedback mechanism using the first method. Using either of these methods nets you a feedback page functionally different from the standard feedback app. Of particular interest is the screenshot checkbox. Check it, type your feedback, and hit send. And you're done. You'd think you'd be asked what kind of screenshot you want to take, but no, you're just done. Well, what screenshot did I take though? Nah, you're just done. Don't worry about it, dude. Don't worry about it. Well, well, how do I know you guys got the right screenshot? Nah, 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 don't worry about it, dog. We got you. We got you. Oh, okay. In all seriousness, what screenshot actually gets sent to the boys and girls at Redmond is anyone's guess. I would think it's the thing you were looking at before you invoked the feedback function, but if that were the case, every screenshot would be either of this or this. Look, honestly, I'm sure it works fine, probably, and that Microsoft has taken great precautions to ensure it's not violating your privacy or anything, but, like, is it too much to ask for a little transparency? Oh, oh and uh, don't forget the possibility that they might just be taking screenshots of your feedback comment. See you guys next time.